Good morning friends. Welcome to Panikas Tutorials YouTube channel. In this video, I want to discuss how to count the number of nodes in a binary tree with a pseudo code and with an example I will discuss. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, what is the binary tree? Binary tree is a tree where each node consists of at most two children. Suppose, let's take that this is the node A. It will have two children. It will also have two children. And this will have a single child. Now, if you look at here, this node is having two children. This node is having two children. This node is having single child. And these three nodes does not have any children. So now these three D, E, F will be called as leaf nodes and A, B, C will be called as internal nodes. So the total number of nodes is equal to the number of internal nodes plus number of leaf nodes. Is it clear? Now, instead of writing the pseudocode for counting the number of leaf nodes, counting the number of internal nodes, then performing addition, directly we will write the pseudocode for counting the number of nodes in this binary tree. Can anyone tell me whether it is a strict binary tree or complete binary tree or perfect binary tree? Please write your answer in the comment section. Now, how many nodes are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 nodes are there. So, whatever the pseudocode I am writing on this binary tree, if I trace it, I should get the value as 6. Now, let me write the pseudocode. Okay. I will write int count nodes okay node star root because I am writing the recursive call so I will write in a simple way if root is equal to is equal to null then return 0 this is the base condition for the program okay else return 1 plus count nodes root of left plus count nodes root of right. This is the recursive calls we are doing. Okay. At each node we will check whether it is this one is true or this one is true, then accordingly we will do the program. Okay. Are you able to understand? Now let me discuss again. If root is equal to is equal to null, meaning is that there is no element. In that case, I should return the value 0. Else, I need to count the number of nodes in the left subtree, count the number of nodes in the right subtree and perform the addition 1 plus count the number of nodes in the left subtree plus count the number of nodes with the right subtree I will perform addition and finally I will return the value. So to make you understand this one in the last video I have represented this binary tree in the double linked list and then we have discussed. Now I hope you have watched that video I will not discuss that much I will discuss in a simple way. What I will do is that I will write the address for each node this is 100 let's take that this is 200 address this is 300 this is 400 and this is 500 and this is 600. Now, this 400 left will be null. 400 right will be null because it does not have any left child and right child. Similarly here also, similarly here also. Whereas this one, this 200 left will be having the 400 value. 200 right will have the value of the address of the right child which is 500. Now, 300 left will be null because it does not have any left child. 300 right will have the value 600. Now 100 left will have the address of the left child which is 200. 100 right will be having the address which is 300. Am I right or wrong? Now with this one, let's start tracing this program using this binary tree. Now 100 root which will go to the 100. Am I right? Node, sorry. Node, so 100. So because it is the root node, the program will start executing from here. So, which is 100. So, 100 is not equal to null. This condition is false. If this condition is false, we will execute the else part which is 1 plus count nodes root of left, 1 plus count nodes root of right which is equal to 1 plus 
cn let me write in a shortcut as count nodes as cn don't think that it is a computer network it is count nodes function root of left root of left means it will be 200 plus root of right means 100 right which will be 300 are you able to understand it or not now i need to execute this count nodes 200 am i right so now let me execute the function the same function with value 200 here now 200 is not equal to null so this condition is failed if this condition is failed then it will execute this one so count nodes 200 will return the value as 1 plus count nodes root of left 200 left is 400 so cn 400 200 right will be cn 600 sorry 500 sorry for it it is its left node is 400 address and this right node will have the address 500 now i need to execute cn 400 am i right so now cn 400 means it will have the 400 so 400 is not equal to null so again it will come to the else part which will give the 1 plus cn count nodes root of left 400 left is null okay because it is a leaf node and 400 right is again null so cn null so now you will execute this cn null so here it will have the value null now root is already null null is equal to null so this condition is true so you will return the value zero similarly we are passing the root value as null so null is equal to null again this condition is true so it will return the value zero 1 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 1 so cn 400 will return the value as 1 are you able to understand now we will execute let me erase this one and now we will execute the cn count nodes function with value 500 so cn 500 so now i am passing the root value as 500 now 500 is equal to null no so we will come and execute this else part which is 1 plus count nodes 500 left 500 left is null okay and 500 right is null so this is what you will get cn 500 which is 1 plus count nodes null count nodes null now here the root value is null so null is equal to null so it will return the value 0 and again this is null so null is equal to null so we will get the value 0 are you able to understand this function will return the value 0 this function will return the value 0 and you have 1 plus 0 plus 0 you will get the value as 1 so the c and count nodes 500 will return the value 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 3 so count nodes 200 will return the value as 3 are you able to understand now we need to execute count nodes with value 300 okay are you able to understand that is the way the program will execute so count nodes 300 now this root value is now 300 so 300 is not equal to null so this condition is false it will come to the else block else block is 1 plus 1 plus count nodes 300 left which is null are you able to understand it or not cn 300's left is null because it does not have any left child and 300 right is having the address 600 now if you execute this cn count nodes null now the root value is null so null is equal to null so it will return the value 0 now i need to execute count nodes with value passing 600 let me see what will happen c and count nodes with value 600 now here it will have the value 600 so 600 is not equal to null so again it will come to the else block which is 1 plus count nodes root of left means 600 left is null because it does not have any left child similarly count nodes root of right 600 does not have any right child so again this is null 
already we have discussed count nodes with value passing null will return the value 0 and again this will also be 0 so 1 plus 0 plus 0 will be 1 so this one is giving the value 1 okay now 1 plus this one is there 1 plus this one is 0 plus 1 which is equal to 2 so this count nodes with value 200 is returning the sorry with value 300 returning the value 2 so this is equal to 1 plus it is returning 3 and it is returning 2 so 1 plus 3 is 4 4 plus 2 is 6 so this function will finally return an integer value which is 6 now look at how many nodes are there in this program is sorry in this binary tree 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it is correct so i hope you have understood the pseudo code and how i traced this program and how i got the number of nodes in this binary tree if you still have any doubts related to this concept or how this program is running you take another binary tree and you trace the program and you can cross check it if if you are still having any doubts feel free to ask me in the comment section I will always there to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.